No. <laughs> what did you just say, Jessica? What just happened? I'm gay. Okay, I'm allowed to do that. She, she just no. I did that. Okay, we're all very hyper. It's very crappy. No, get out of my bag! You can't drink my shit. She's not here, bro. She's not here, unfortunately. Okay. Did anybody read that article on slut pride in the paper? Slut pride. Slut pride. Oh yeah, the slut. I would be all for that. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, I didn't read about it. I just heard someone was saying something about it. I don't even remember who. Well, I'm gonna go see a slut parade. There was a girl walking really anti rape or something. Oh, this is not an invitation to rape me. Thing. Guys, you guys give you guys a little party and have a nice day. But we're gonna read the season a little bunch. Oh, I got it. You don't need to. You're gonna do something sexual. Hey, do something wait, like lick wait, that pen or wait. something. What kind of pen? Is, what Give the pen lady, head. Does, does that have a lady on it? Oh my gosh, yeah, she's gonna disappear. Okay, I'm gonna ask one yeah. more time. And then I'm gonna split people up. Dude, I worked really hard to put that together. Guys, Everyone, just shut up! Calm your tits, bro. What the hell is your problem, bro? Seriously, I worked Two. so hard to do that. Three. At this point, the only person talking will be myself or whoever wants to read. Slut. But I thought this was an interesting article. It sounds kind of crazy at first because they're having a slut pride parade. And I, I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta read this. <laughs> Jessica, there's one thing off of our human software department. Put them down. Would you like to move as well? No. Okay, shut up. Now, so it was interesting. I was like, slut pride, what's that all about? I read the, I read the article. And actually, it had a good message. But what it was, was there's a police officer and he came to a college campus, right? And he basically said, um, you know, women need to, if they want to decrease their chance of getting raped, they need to quit dressing like sluts. That's what his word, he used the word actual slut. And some girls took offense to this, and they're like, you're basically taking, you know, the, the concept of rape, right? And you're basically saying the burden's on us, not dress a certain way, and not putting the burden on a guy not to do this, right? You're saying it's our fault we got raped because we dress this way. That's not how it should be. And I agreed with their point. But I started thinking about this. I was like, yeah, they totally got a valid point. I, I totally understand. Come on, that's side of the sluts, right? And so I was like, yeah, sluts, kick ass. And then I started thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute. I might have missed everything the cop was trying to say. I don't think the cop was trying to say it's okay for a guy, you know, that you had it coming with by dressing that way. I think what he's saying is your chances of getting to get raped. Like that. What, what do guys think of I'll go with pot roast here. He's never had a girl, but let's use his, him as an example. Pot roast? Yeah. If you see a girl dress real, let's just use the word they use, sluttily, right? And you're at a party, what do you think about that girl? Like, what, what, what in the back of your mind are you thinking? It's not something you want to take home to mom, but you're thinking what? Easy. Easy, right? Is that not true, though? No. You don't no, think people, people think that? Well, I, you don't well, think, I just gave yeah, an example. I think about sex like every 10 seconds. Okay, so well, they that's probably sick. Shut up. Yeah, now, shh. Megan, you're saying that's not true. I just gave you a guy, a young guy your age, his opinion. He said that that is true. You tell me why you think it's not true. Because just because you're just a certain way doesn't mean you're like easy. That doesn't. Didn't say that. What I said was, what does a guy think? He that he wants to bone them. Exactly. I think the difference here. The point was, now, okay. there's three things we got going here, right? And I'll talk about all three of them. But so I think these girls are right, and they decided I'm gonna have a slut parade and show that you can dress however you want, and I shouldn't be a victim of anything. You should <laughs> Most rapes, I'm sure, are guy and girl, right? I have obviously some girls that rape guys, and that happens. It's weird. He's just a guy who's built like a sea bass. So, um, <laughs> what we've got here. This girl's made a good point, and it is true. If a girl doesn't want, you know, no matter how they're dressed, they should be treated equally, right? Unfortunately, our society views things the way pot roast said, because they're easy. So you go up, you're at a party, you're like, hey, baby, let's hook up. She's been drinking a little bit. She's like, no, no, no. You're like, what that right now? I get slightly out of crap. And you just keep trying, right? And she's like, no, no, no. And next thing you know, it goes, David, your chances might have been diminished if you've been dressed properly. Is it right? No, I, I think the cop was just saying, if you dress that way, you're asking for trouble. Should it be that way? Of course not. But it's just giving you the basic facts. I think sometimes we get, as a society, we're like, we're offended by how people judge us or whatever, but it's like, we're speaking the truth. That guy shouldn't have been necessarily. So he came out later and he apologized. He said, that wasn't my intent, but my intent was just to say, studies have shown that if you dress a certain way, you have a better chance of being date raped or raped. 
in general. So um, I guess my point was, um, what what's appropriate? I, I guess I'm getting too old fashioned. I had a girl come to me that was going to a job interview, and she says, "How do you think I'm dressed?" And I'm all, "Honestly, I think you look like a hussy. I would not hire you. I want someone I want to hire for their brain." The thing I've always noticed is some girls might look hot in the way they dress or whatever. But after like two or three months, you're over. You're just like, whatever. I just want you to do your damn job. Yeah, you look good the first month, but now I'm over it. I've seen you every day. You're old and just get to work and take care of business. Now you got some ditso who's got, you know, a low cut shirt or whatever in there. And she's aggravating is what happens to her. Not all guys. Like, I can see someone like Shell, like Pot Roast, going, I just want to hire a girl because she looks hot. I don't care if she's any dumb. I don't care if my business goes down. I'm an idiot. Right? Yeah, but. <laughs> my point. Yeah. So, any comments on that? <laughs> no, everybody agrees with me? I think that girls that dress that way kind of are. Because, like, if, if you, like, why would you need to show it off if you, like, there's no purpose? If you know you have it, like, you, you, don't, you don't dress like a, like a sweat, and you know everybody knows you're good looking. But, right. Like, oh. Oh. Uh, I don't know, I've always wondered that about girls too, but I see so many girls that are high school girls, the way they dress, and I'm all, if I had a daughter, she wouldn't be going out the door looking like that. And maybe it'd be a big fight and whatever, but I think she'd maybe understand that real, but I don't want my daughter going to school with her, you know, cleavage hanging out, her butt halfway, you know, and I just be like, I don't think that's the way to dress. But yet, I've watched your guys' 